Hey everybody, welcome back to the Underground Lair here at Stringman Guitars. Sorry for the laundry noise, but um, we have an old friend back. I think this is the third time this one's been back. Um, it is a Spectre. Let's take a look. This is a beaut. This has been here two or three times. EMGs, it's got the go-to bridge, or I'm sorry, the hip shot bridge with the Spectre name on it. Uh, active electronics. Uh, we had 125 to 45s on there. He doesn't like that. We're going to go to 120 to 40s. And we're also, he didn't like this string choice. We're going to DRs. Yeah, hey, let's take a look and see. Well, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to take a look and see anything because everything is going to change with the string tension. And it's, we have A tuning here. So we're a step down from your, what you would expect, and he wants me to save the strings, just in case, but anyhow, we're going to take the strings off, I'm going to bag them up, and we're going to put these DRs on. Okay, so the problem with the hip shot style bridge is that the bass string just goes in, and kind of gets held into place there, but when you're up at the other end of the guitar trying to get the thing tuned in, it'll pop out. Then at the other end we're going to go four spots past where the string is going to live and we're going to cut that right there. String. You're going to take your good old set of needle nose and you're going to crimp it more drastically. So you got a 90 degree bend. We're going to need that so we're going to leave it out. So then we're going to put that in the hole where it's going to live. Just wind it up. Oh, the other thing we got to do is we got to tighten the uh, the bushings. Not tighten them. Make sure they're snug. So far, they are snug from the last time I was here. But these are things you want to check. Okay, now we can proceed with what we are doing. Put that in the hole, wrap it around, and making sure you go underneath the string as you go. these big fat strings I like to bend them back towards me so there's less to worry about at the, with your tuning stability at the nut. Do your tape over and that's how that string is going to live. And then you move on to your next string and you repeat, repeat the process. I'll be back. Okay, so we found that the uh, neck relief with these strings are way, is way different. So we're going to pop off the truss rod cover. And we've already taken the tension off the strings. Now we're just going to tighten up the truss rod. You always want to release the tension on the string before you tighten rod. After is no big deal. Or So 
so now, what is this? It looks like it might be a 5. Let's take a look. Or it could be a 4 again. We've fooled so many times on these. That's a 4. Alright, hopefully there's room to move, oh yeah. Give it about a uh, quarter of a turn. Tighten everything back up. Okay, that's where we want to live. Let's see if we're going to tighten even more. Holding it to 17th, capo in the first, we're measuring it to 7th, and that is about right. Actually, it could be a little tighter. So let's repeat the process. I'll be back. Tentatively, we have the relief set at 12 thou, a tight 12 thou. Now we have to adjust the string height. We're at about um, six, a little over six uh, sixty fourths, and we want. I'm going to try to get five if we can, but I think that's where I, I set it this way because he is in a lower tuning, and I had it descend to 5, and that's what we're reading here. Okay, these um, hip shot um, specter uh, bridges, how do you adjust them? There's two set screws, and you uh, want to loosen them both off, and that way you can raise and lower your saddle and move your saddle back and forth. Okay, I, after messing with this bridge and realizing that I have to go It is buzzy everywhere. If it was not buzzy, It wasn't buzzy there. If it was buzzy here, I would say that um, we have to go up in string height. But no, I think we got too much, uh, too flat. Our neck is too flat. So I'm going to go ahead and remedy that situation right now. Loosening the truss rod, you do not need to loosen your strings because strings are actually helping the truss rod move easier. Let's see where that put us. Hopefully it puts us at about 14. Try the 12 first. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. I think that's what was the trick on the 5 string. Yeah, there we go. Okay, seems as we've got our um, intonation set, so now we can go ahead and tighten up the set screws on the bridge. Had to do some goofing around with the uh, truss rod it wasn't really cooperating. I mean, it was working. I was just trying to get it uh, to where it uh, should be. It turns out where this base likes it is, and the more I did it, the more it occurred to me, having worked on this base before, is it likes six a hair over 664. So 
everything is a hair over 664 and remember all the buzzing we're getting here other than the floppiness from the B string being tuned down to A no buzz because it didn't like 12 thou it liked 14 and uh, I just told you what the uh, string high was the last thing is our pickup height. Let's see where that would be. That's a bit high. Perfect. I'm going to recheck the intonation after this because I could have been screwing up the intonation. Changes because of the uh, string gauge. This is with you a little bit. That's good, that's good. Okay, so we're locked down. Double check our intonation real quick. Now we can go ahead and lock back down. Bridge. There you go. Spectre Eurobase 5. I want to thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair. If you need your bass or guitar brought up to par, I'm on Facebook. Send me an instant message. Um, we'll get you in line here. And uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see here. Peace. Have a good night. Oh, take care of your neighbors, the old folks. They're special. Love your neighbor like you love yourself.